So the mindset has to be championship mentality. I broke out in the MGA meeting the, the schedule for Alabama football. And this year, they got, I mean, they got a strong schedule the whole way, but three games stuck out to me out of four. They had LSU, Mississippi State, Western something, and then uh, Auburn. And so the whole point of that was you're playing two out of three of those games away. It's like a road trip, lead pack. And you just played a good team. And now to be great, you do what? You come back and shift the bed? No, that's average. That's what average teams do. They'll win one big game and then they come back and get stomped. And you're like, how did they beat that team? It's because they started to sniff their potential. And the captains and the leaders probably all patted them on the back. And the players were patting themselves on the back instead of staying hungry. So what you did this month is you showed your potential. This is a chance to separate yourself now. Leaders, real dogs, this is what you're waiting for. Because average is gonna, they're gonna start woo, giving it to you. You gotta go take it, go out, carry that momentum and show that you're ready to be a champion. So leaders, captains, see how everybody's excited today? Because they made a bunch of money. This is what happens when you lead people the right way. They're not gonna be happy when you just tickle their feet for the next three weeks and they make no money. Okay, your job as a coach is to keep them winning. My obligation is to tell you what it takes. Your action has to align with your ambition. Somewhere between what your ambition is and where you're at right now has to be your action. What it takes. When you start going through hard stuff in this business, you have to remind yourself that if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I got news for you that are looking for easy. Easy will not change your life. Easy will not change generations of your family's life. Don't ask for easy. Ask to get better, ask to get stronger. Things that separate you, if you wanna be a part of the top 5%, the top 1%, make sure it's how you think. I'm telling you, this is it. This is why I work on mind, body, spirit so much. It's not talent, it's the way that you freaking think. That your thoughts is what keeps you down. Your thoughts is what keeps you locked up. The only differences between people is the way that you freaking think and what you expect out of life. There's some people I know that are 50 years old and they're living like a mofo. And there's some people 30 years old and they're already <laughs> on their way to dying. They're dying mentally because they've already gave up on their dreams. I want you to make sure that your ambition aligns with your action. And the last thing is, I'd rather be breathless than basic. Like at times, if you want to be basic, you can have all the breath you want, all types of free time. But if you want to be great, you're going to feel like you're breathless at times. I don't know about you, but I always feel my best after I was breathless and then I, ah, and then I'm good. I survived. I didn't die. Like there's times you think you're going to die on the treadmill. You ain't going to die. There's times you're going to think you're going to die running. You ain't going to die. It's after that you feel accomplished, you feel great, you started to separate yourself.